Welcome to Quick Bites from Jamaica McCrezzy, your go-to podcast for quick, insightful conversations on the latest trends, intriguing stories, and topics that matter to you. Whether you're taking a break or on the move, we're here to keep you informed and entertained in 10 minutes or less. Let's dive in. Welcome to Jamaica's Green Revolution, where we explore how this beautiful island nation is leading the charge in renewable energy in the Caribbean. And today we're diving deep into Jamaica's ambitious plans to transform its energy landscape by 2030. Jamaica, known for its vibrant culture and stunning landscapes, is now making waves in the world of renewable energy. With a bold target of 50% renewable energy by 2030, the country is embarking on a journey that promises to reshape its economy, create jobs, and protect its pristine environment. Let's start our journey at the Wigton Wind Farm, the largest of its kind in the English-speaking Caribbean. Wigton isn't just big, it's a powerhouse. With 62.7 megawatts of capacity and 44 turbines, this facility is offsetting over half a million tons of carbon dioxide emissions every year. But Wigton isn't stopping there. Plans are underway to expand capacity and even venture into solar energy. We're looking at adding another 40 megawatts here and potentially 160 megawatts across the country. We're also replacing older turbines with more efficient models that can produce 2.5 to 3 times more power. This expansion isn't just about clean energy. It's about jobs, economic growth, and energy independence. Jamaica's renewable energy push is expected to create thousands of jobs, from construction and maintenance to research and development. It's also projected to save the country millions in fossil fuel imports. Wind isn't Jamaica's only renewable resource. The island is blessed with abundant sunshine, and solar projects are popping up across the country. Projects like the Content Solar Farm and Paradise Solar PV Park are harnessing the power of the sun, contributing significantly to Jamaica's renewable energy mix. Solar energy in Jamaica has enormous potential. We're seeing a mix of large-scale projects and smaller community-based installations. This diversity is key to building a resilient energy system. But achieving 50% renewable energy by 2030 isn't without its challenges. Let's break down some of the hurdles Jamaica faces. First, there's the issue of funding. Transitioning to renewable energy requires significant investment. Jamaica is tackling this through a combination of international climate finance, private sector investment, and innovative funding models. We're leveraging various funding sources, including $764 million from the IMF's Resilience and Sustainability Facility. We're also working closely with private sector partners to drive investment in renewable projects. Another challenge is integrating renewable energy into the existing grid. Jamaica is exploring energy storage solutions and hybrid technologies to ensure a stable and reliable power supply. But it's not just about big projects and government initiatives. Jamaican consumers have a role to play too. While specific consumer incentives are still in development, the government is leading by example, installing solar panels on public buildings and running awareness campaigns to encourage adoption. Installing solar panels was a big decision, but it's already paying off. My electricity bills are lower and I feel good knowing I'm contributing to a cleaner Jamaica. Jamaica's renewable energy transition isn't just about power generation. It's part of a broader environmental strategy that includes forest conservation and ecosystem protection. The country aims to plant 3 million trees and is implementing strategies to protect its vital coral reefs and watersheds. Jamaica's approach to renewable energy is holistic. It's not just about reducing emissions, it's about building resilience in our ecosystems and communities. As we've seen today, Jamaica's renewable energy revolution is well underway. From the windswept hills of Manchester to the sun-soaked plains of St. Elizabeth, the country is harnessing its natural resources to build a cleaner, more sustainable future. This transition promises not just cleaner air and a healthier environment, but also economic opportunities, energy security, and a brighter future for generations to come. Jamaica is showing the world that small island nations can lead the way in combating climate change and embracing renewable energy. As Jamaica continues its journey towards 50% renewable energy by 2030, one thing is clear. The future of this island nation is looking greener and brighter than ever. Jamaica has developed several environmental plans and initiatives for the future, focusing on climate change mitigation, renewable energy adoption, and ecosystem conservation. 
Here's an overview of Jamaica's key environmental plans. Jamaica has set ambitious targets for reducing greenhouse gas emissions and adapting to climate change impacts. The country aims to reduce emissions by 25.4% unconditional to 28.5% conditional on international aid by 2030, relative to a business-as-usual scenario based on a 2005 baseline. Most emissions reductions will come from increased use of renewable energy in the power generation sector. Jamaica has submitted an updated Nationally Determined Contribution, or NDC, to the Paris Agreement, demonstrating its commitment to climate action. Jamaica is working towards increasing its reliance on renewable energy sources. The National Energy Policy 2009 to 2030 set a goal of 50% renewable energy generation by 2030. The country is shifting from heavy fossil fuels to cleaner energy sources like solar and wind power. An upcoming integrated resource plan will outline the roadmap to achieve the 2030 renewable energy targets, considering wind, hydro, and solar energy storage systems. Efforts are being made to protect and expand Jamaica's forests. The updated NDC includes a drive to plant 3 million trees. The country aims to maintain or increase forest cover, although some environmental activists have raised concerns about the specificity of these targets. Jamaica is taking steps to protect its diverse ecosystems. The National Environment and Planning Agency, or NEPA, published the Action Plan for Corals and Reefs in Jamaica, 2018 to 2023 to build resilience in coral reef ecosystems. The country is also implementing watershed management strategies through programs like the Watershed Area Management Mechanism, or WAM, and the Yala's Hope River Watershed Management Project. Jamaica is working to balance its tourism industry with environmental protection. There are efforts to promote ecotourism initiatives that minimize environmental impact and educate tourists about responsible behavior. Plans are in place to increase environmental awareness among Jamaicans. There are calls to integrate environmental awareness into the education system, from early childhood to university level. Efforts are being made to foster a culture of environmental appreciation through interactive learning, community projects and nature exploration. While Jamaica has made significant strides in environmental planning, there are still challenges to overcome. Funding remains a key issue for implementing climate commitments. There are concerns about the consistency of government actions with environmental goals, particularly regarding forest protection. The country needs to balance economic development with environmental conservation, especially in sectors like tourism and mining. Moving forward, Jamaica has opportunities to leverage international climate finance, such as the $764 million approved by the IMF under the Resilience and Sustainability Facility, enhance the integration of climate change considerations into national financing mechanisms, public infrastructure, and sectoral policies, strengthen partnerships between government, civil society, and the private sector to implement environmental initiatives. By addressing these challenges and capitalizing on opportunities, Jamaica can work towards a more sustainable and resilient environmental future. Jamaica has set ambitious goals for renewable energy and climate action by 2030. Let's explore the specific aspects of these plans. Jamaica aims to generate 50% of its electricity from renewable sources by 2030, up from the previous target of 30%. To achieve this, several projects are planned or under consideration. Solar energy large-scale solar parks are being developed including the Acacia Solar Park. Wind power, expansion of wind farms is expected building on existing projects. Hydropower small-scale hydroelectric projects are being explored. Energy storage implementation of solar energy storage systems to manage intermittency. The upcoming integrated resource plan will provide a detailed roadmap for achieving these renewable energy targets. The transition to cleaner energy is expected to have significant economic implications for Jamaica, reduced fuel imports. The 50% renewable energy target is forecast to reduce annual fossil fuel imports by 3.9 million barrels of oil equivalent. Job creation. The renewable energy sector is likely to create new employment opportunities. Energy cost stabilization. In the long term, renewable energy could lead to more stable electricity prices. Improved energy security, reduced dependence on imported fossil fuels will enhance Jamaica's energy security. Jamaica faces several challenges in its renewable energy transition. Financial constraints. The shift requires significant investment, estimated at 1.2 billion US dollars. Grid integration. 
concerns about integrating large amounts of renewable energy into the existing grid system. Infrastructure development. Many renewable energy sites are far from existing transmission infrastructure. Balancing reliability and affordability. Ensuring stable power supply while keeping electricity rates affordable. Time constraints. With only six years left to 2030, the timeline for achieving the 50% target is tight. While specific details about forest protection in Jamaica's new climate plan are limited, some measures are being taken. Tree planting initiative. The updated nationally determined contribution includes a drive to plant 3 million trees. Emissions reduction. The plan aims to reduce emissions in the forest and land use sector as part of its overall emissions reduction strategy. Integrated landscape management. The country envisions emissions reductions through integrated landscape and watershed management in the agricultural sector. These measures indicate that forest conservation and reforestation are part of Jamaica's broader climate strategy, although more detailed information on specific forest protection plans would require further research. Jamaica's renewable energy landscape is evolving rapidly, with several promising technologies and projects in development. Let's explore the key aspects of Jamaica's renewable energy transition. Jamaica is implementing various renewable energy technologies, with wind and solar power leading the way. Wind Power Wigton Wind Farm is the largest wind energy facility in the English-speaking Caribbean with a capacity of 62.7 megawatts. The wind farm comprises three phases with a total of 44 turbines. Solar Energy Wigton Wind Farm is planning to expand into solar energy. Large-scale solar projects are being developed, though specific details are not provided in the search results. Jamaica is exploring hybrid projects that combine different renewable technologies to enhance grid stability and energy production consistency. The expansion of Wigton Wind Farm will significantly impact Jamaica's energy landscape, increased renewable capacity. Wigton can potentially add another 40 megawatts of power at its current location. The company has identified areas across the country that can accommodate an additional 160 megawatts of power. Technological Upgrades Wigton is planning to replace aged wind turbines in Phase 1 with newer, more efficient models. The new turbines can produce 2.5 to 3 times the power of each current Wigton 1 unit. Long-Term Renewable Goals Wigton's projected growth could contribute to increasing Jamaica's renewable energy supply to 56% of total power output in two decades. Economic impact. The expansion is expected to reduce Jamaica's reliance on fossil fuel imports, potentially saving foreign exchange. Environmental benefits. Jamaica's renewable energy projects offer significant environmental benefits. Carbon emission reduction. The Wigton Wind Farm alone offsets 562,000 tons of carbon dioxide emissions per year. The project has reduced national oil demand by close to 100,000 barrels of oil per year. Air quality improvement wind power is a zero emission source, reducing local pollution. Energy security renewable projects enhance Jamaica's energy security through fuel diversification. Job creation. The renewable energy transition is positively affecting local job creation. Direct employment. Renewable energy projects like Wigton Wind Farm create jobs in construction, operation, and maintenance of facilities. The renewable energy sector stimulates job growth in related industries such as manufacturing, transportation, and professional services. The transition creates opportunities for training and upskilling in new technologies, enhancing the local workforce's capabilities. Several partnerships are crucial in driving Jamaica's renewable energy initiatives, government and private sector collaboration. The Jamaican government is actively seeking private sector participation through independent power producers for renewable energy projects. International financing projects have attracted international investment with financing from institutions like the Overseas Private Investment Corporation. Utility partnerships, Wigton Wind Farm has a power purchase agreement with Jamaica Public Service Company for selling electricity to the national grid. Technology providers, partnerships with companies like Vestas Wind Systems and Siemens Gamisa, renewable energy for turbine supply and maintenance. Research and development. While not explicitly mentioned in the search results, it's likely that partnerships with educational institutions and research organizations are supporting Jamaica's renewable energy development. Jamaica's renewable energy transition is multifaceted, involving technological advancements, significant environmental benefits, job creation, and strategic partnerships. The expansion of projects like Wigton Wind Farm, 
coupled with the diversification into solar and other renewable technologies, positions Jamaica to significantly reduce its carbon footprint and enhance its energy security in the coming decades. Thanks for tuning in to Quick Bites from Jamaica McCrazy. If you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss a bite-sized update. Share your thoughts in the comments and let us know what you'd like to hear next. Catch you in the next one.